The intention for today's Mass is for Gail Califano. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My friends, today we observe the feast day of St. Benedict Abbott, the founder of Western monasticism, and one of the co-patron saints of Europe. For the times that we have not always put God first in our own lives and instead have chosen to sin, let us now ask the Lord's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the abbot, St. Benedict, an outstanding master in the school of divine service, grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who ask these things of you? Trample my coats no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling on assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the Lord. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim, redress the wronged, hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. 
To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you re recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think, or do you think you that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever re receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not much of a cook or a chef or a baker or anything like that, but one thing I learned observing my mother make Irish soda bread at home as a child was that you couldn't put the raisins in until the dough was made first. In other words, there has to be a sequence in the ingredients. That much I know. I don't know how to do it, but I know about it. As it is in the natural life, so too it is often in the supernatural life as well. And this is what our Lord is teaching us today in what sounds like very hard teachings. He's really telling us that our love for neighbor has to be founded and based upon our love for God. And that the love of God, when it is correct and true will lead us to a more effective and true love of neighbor as well. There is an order to our spiritual life that if we do not observe will lead us to idolatry, to a, a, a violation of the first commandment, that is to elevating some created object into a place before God himself, even if that created object is a wonderful good such as family or friends, that our love for family and friends will only be true and effective when it is founded upon a love of God himself. That's also what the prophet Isaiah is saying in the first reading today, that our worship of God must inevitably and truly lead us to a love of neighbor, that true 
worship will also lead us to true justice. St. Benedict, whose feast is observed today, knew well this reality and created the first rule of, of commu community living for religious orders in the history of the church. It's not only true for religious, it's true for all baptized disciples that we need to have in a proper order our Christian way of living founded first and foremost upon the love of God. If we do that, then our love of neighbor will also be true, real, and effective. Let us pray. We pray for the church that it may always be able to show the world how to put God first. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that our love of God will lead us to a love of true justice and true love of neighbor. We pray to the Lord, that all those who are called to a monastic way of life may heed and follow that call in the spirit of St. Benedict and the other great founders of religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, for the needy and the poor, for all those who need a spiritual order to their lives, that they may find it in the teachings of Christ and his church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine, and for harmony in our own nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Gail Califano, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear the prayers we offer and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings which we make in honor of St. Benedict and grant that by following his example in seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, the living. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through the participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing remember also lord your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace
Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen Matthias Barnabas, Agnes Cecilia Anastasia, Saint Teresa of Avila, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with light, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite all of our viewers to remain tuned for the devotional prayers immediately after the conclusion of the Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for God's blessing. Hasten to the aid of your faithful people who call upon you, O Lord, we pray, and graciously give strength in their human weakness, so that, being dedicated to you in complete sincerity, they may find gladness in your remedies, both now and in the life to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to savor what is right and always rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Lord Jesus Christ, who has glorified your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we ask you that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work, amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, mother of our Lord Jesus and our mother, we have confidence in your powerful and never failing intercession, manifested often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, ask you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they will be for the glory of God and the salvation of souls. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. Our prayer to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we unite ourselves to thee under your title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your motherly affection for us, and a constant reminder of our filial duties toward you. While wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. Most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives, so that like you, we may live and act according to the teaching and example of your Son. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the happiness of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.